Hi everyone, this is Richard, CEO of Altfins, and today I'm going to discuss real quick the project Liquity, LQTY. The reason I'm going to discuss it is because it is up huge today, about 60% uh, due to Binance listing, and it's also a project that we had published research on back in November of last year, where we highlighted as one of the uh, very promising DeFi lending and borrowing platforms. And that was when the price in November of last year was way lower, um, around 70, 70 cents or so. And uh, it's up about 320% now following today's move on Binance listing. So we have unlocked the research on our platform for this particular project. You can find the research under the research hub. Um, and so, uh, although normally these research reports are available only to our sus subscribers and hodlers, we have unlocked this research report for all the registered users. So I suggest you check it out and uh, also consider unlocking the other research reports that we have published since then, as there are some really interesting projects. Um, by the way, this is the second project that has gotten listed on Binance this month um, and is also up in about two or three fold. And that's kind of the bread and butter for a lot of our research reports that um, we cover. Um, oftentimes, relatively unknown, but uh, up and coming projects that have already established themselves in terms of the product and user base and revenues, but um, are not on everyone's radar yet. And just real quick, what is Liquity? Liquity is a decentralized borrowing protocol or platform, and it's similar to Maker or Aave or and then Compound. Um, so it's completely decentralized. There's no counterparty risk. It launched in uh, 2021, in April of 2021, and was funded by some well-known VCs, including Pantera Capital, as well as, as, well as uh, Polychain. What uh, Liquidity does, it, uh, it allows traders and investors to basically deposit their cryptocurrency, specifically in this case, Ethereum, and use that as a collateral to borrow money against that. So why would someone use Liquidity? It, it has two use cases. Basically, someone who owns Ethereum and loves it, doesn't want to sell it, but needs to borrow money and needs money for whatever reason. So instead of selling Ethereum, they borrow, borrow against their Ethereum position. So they deposit Ethereum on, on liquidity protocol and then borrow, um, you know, almost 100% of that they can borrow actually. Um, our second use case is someone who also owns Ethereum, is very bullish on Ethereum or some other, um, on, or some other cryptocurrency. And so they can, again, deposit their Ethereum instead of selling it because they want to continue to own Ethereum. They deposit Ethereum and then again, borrow money against that, uh, use Ethereum as a collateral essentially and, and take out a loan on that Ethereum position and buy more Ethereum or some other cryptocurrency. So they basically they are getting access to leverage. So, Liquidity has its own native token, LQTY, and that is the price of that is up uh, pretty big today in the last few months, as I indicated. Uh, and also it has a stable coin, LUSD. LUSD is um, a stable coin that um, the, the borrowers get when they, uh, um, when they uh, borrow against their collateral. Now, why is liquidity different from other lending and borrowing protocols, DeFi protocols like Maker and others? Uh, a few things. They have very attractive loan conditions. First of all, borrowers are charged only a one-time fee of 0.5%. So normally when you borrow money from a bank or other 
DeFi or CeFi platforms, you pay interest rates, and those are recurring interest rates, annual interest rates. For example, you know, Maker and other DeFi lending protocols typically charge three or four percent per year or or more, while Liquidity only charges zero point five percent typically and only one time, basically from the money that you borrow. Um, so that's very cheap, essentially, for the borrower. Secondly, it's more capital efficient because it only needs 110% collateral. So the borrower is able to leverage um, their position, their ETH, ETH deposit far more than some of the other popular lending protocols like MakerDAO and others who often require over collateralization of above 150%. Now, in terms of tokenomics, uh, liquidity token holders get to keep all the fees that the platform uh, charges. And let's take a look. You can find that data um, both on our crypto screener. So right here, liquidity under the on-chain data tab. And as you can see, there's total revenue in the green bars. There was a big increase in total revenue sometime in January. Uh, but overall, we can see the trends here. Right? Really, in the last seven days, total revenue is down 55%. Um, last 30 days is down 74%. So um, there hasn't been a tremendous amount of growth in total revenues in the last, certainly in the last month. But over the last 90 days or three months, there is about a 16% revenue growth. Also, we can take a look at the TVL or total value locked. And that's been growing. Uh, let's take a look at, a, for example, a six month chart. Right. And that's been growing in the last certainly since the beginning of the year, which is also a good sign that there's more activity uh, ongoing on the platform. And, and you can the see the TVL uh, growth rates here in the table as well in the last 30, 90 days up 34%, but kind of flattish in the last month and seven days as well. So the activity is growing. Um, I wouldn't say it's growing particularly, f you know, blazingly fast, but uh, the adoption is there. And certainly with the listing on Binance, there may be a way, uh, a bigger increase in awareness among potential clients and customers for the platform. So this Binance listing could actually help the business as well as the actual price of the token. All right, so that's kind of the uh, the fundamental overview. You can find uh, lots of the on-chain data on our platform as well. Uh, if you want to look at other sort of DeFi platforms and what kind of revenues they generate, what kind of TVL trends they have, here you can actually compare them to some other projects. So if I remove the existing ones here, and let's just say I add liquidity. Right, so we can see how the total revenue is trending. We can look at the TVL, clearly growing since the beginning of the year. I can compare it to some other projects like MakerDAO that I mentioned as a potential competitor as well and so on. We hope this helps you. Please do take advantage of this research report that we have just unlocked for registered users. And if you have any questions or feedback, please email us at invest at altfins.com.